Welcome back to Tabs, this time a Dinosaur Edition. So what we're seeing right now are Velociraptors, I kid you not. Raptors going at it, fighting Stone Age Faction Spearmen, ripping them to pieces. Now this is work in progress, right? So these are very, very early Raptors. Now if you think about it, there haven't been too many animals that have been added to Tabs, or at least previewed in Tabs, right? We've seen horses and we've seen woolly mammoths. And I've actually gotten to play with the woolly mammoths. Holy crap, more on that later. But anyway, it's also fun to see this kind of just like rivalry between Stone Age faction and a potential dinosaur faction, or maybe they could be bosses. I don't really know. Like, there will be a campaign, and by the way, I've gotten to play it. I've gotten to play the very early work campaign. So yeah, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you may not have known this. I did go to Sweden, I visited the guys at Landfall Games, and they were very nice to show me around. Will got me on um, the current build of the game, and it was so cool. But anyway, I went there two different days um, when I was in Sweden. Um, they were like two or three days apart. So the first day we were doing this, we were doing first person mode, but there weren't any raptors in the game, right? So we had the M16 and we were going at it and like we had all these, uh, all the Stone Age faction spearmen. We were just kind of like experimenting with first person shooter mode and what it was going to be like, right? And then I was like, oh man, and we were playing on this map. Where, so there's all this like forest on the side, right? And it just reminded me of this scene in Jurassic Park where like the raptors, oh and look at these. These are the upgraded, uh, the updated raptors, right? But there's actually two different kinds. There's a larger raptor with the spikes on his head and the smaller ones. Anyway, so I was like, man, wouldn't it be cool if like, oh, I was like, oh, I cannot wait for the Steam Workshop and like, you know, uh, community modding. Cause I was like, I want to have someone make raptors and then I just want to do like first person, you know, like make the grass a little taller and have these raptors. Look at this. Look at these raptors. See, look, this is a raptor horde attacking, right? And Will kind of smells like, oh yeah, that'd be so cool. And then I left that day. And then like the next day he tweeted me and he was like, hey, look at this. And it was like a raptor prototype. And then he sent me another picture a few hours later. And then next thing you know, this video goes up, which I was I was gone. That's why I didn't get it covered, guys, which is unfortunate. Um, and there's raptors in the game, right? And I was like, how cool is this, right? You get to go to the office, you get to play the stuff. So yeah, there will be exclusive footage um, of the campaign, uh, some other things. Anyway, we'll, we'll go over that when I, when I get the footage back. But look at this. So we've got two different kinds of raptors. And if you look very carefully, this map has like mountains on the outside of it. Which is kind of scary because it like keeps you penned in and there's raptors chasing you in this first person mode. But it's really, really cool. And it's kind of like a new map. I mean, it is definitely a new map. It was kind of like, it just makes you kind of see what you could do. You could even modify existing maps, right? So we've got two new things of raptors. The raptors look so cool. I can't wait to see these things like battle woolly mammoths, right? Imagine a herd of raptors taking down a giant woolly mammoth. That would be freaking sweet. So anyway, I know that this I said the second video for today was gonna be like this Jurassic Park game, but I played it and I don't know if it's good enough to put up on a video yet or maybe, maybe do it tomorrow, maybe do it another day. So I know I said that in the earlier video, but anyway guys, just the tab stuff, when it, when it comes out, oh my gosh, man. I've gotten to play just a little bit of it like I said, some of the stuff I can talk about, some of the stuff they trust me not to talk about, so it's the amount of detail, the amount of effort they're putting into tabs right now to make it just like an amazing game. Something that is more than a sandbox, sand, sandbox, sandbox, and more than just a simple campaign, but something that has like, you know, high replayability. Plus they're supporting modding, which I go, I rave over, and I know you guys have heard me beat that subject to death but good lord tabs guys it's coming and now we've got dinosaurs so the question is the question of the day is always twofold right the usual thing is before we get into the action you know what custom battles do you want to see in the next video um and then when you see a comment that you like, a battle that you like, man that would be really cool I'll like it as per usual but the second thing is what do you think of dinosaurs 
like a raptor specifically do you guys want to see a t-rex you want to see brontosaurus you want to see you know stuff like that fighting stone age faction do you want it to be a faction or just kind of like some special little things that happen in the campaign right like there's a map where like you're the stone age faction and you've got to fight you know hey the dinosaurs for example something like that definitely lots of possibilities but i just think it was so cool because i was in the office with them got to see their operation and man they've got like the artwork that they put in the game dude it is gorgeous it was fun to see people like hand drawing you know um concept stuff and then like making models and making custom units like live it was ridiculously amazing and by the way those opportunities were afforded to you guys you know baron's brigade thank you for these opportunities that arise where we where i get to be a part of that and then i get to share that stuff with you guys first and foremost um and then I was just like, yeah, I want to see raptors. Like, it'd be so cool in high grass, you know, M16, raptors chasing you. And then Will's kind of like, all right. And then next thing you know, he puts up raptors. So, sorry I missed some of the updates. I was gone in Sweden for about a week, including two day-long travel days. Um, a blast. It was a blast. More stuff to come this week, so stay posted to the channel. Let's get into the custom battles. All right, guys. So, this first suggestion is by Fanthony Man. This is my boy Baron. I got another crazy battle suggestion for you. If you're gonna say my boy Baron, I, I imagine you've got an accent like that. So this is the Battle of the Matrix. We've got the Resistance over here. We've got Neo as Donald Trump, because Neo uses guns and can stop bullets, just like Trump's wall. We got a Samurai Master as Trinity and Bearman as Morpheus, Tesla as Tank, Projectile Ship as the Nebuchadnezzar, a beamer, a cipher, because he's a traitor. And there's friendly fire. Three lightsaber masters, a switch, doc, dozer, and apic. Uh, we've got a ninja as the oracle and the spoon kid as a thief. Now we're just going to have them fight the forces of evil. I'm actually very curious to see if this thing can stop the M16s. It's stopping two of them. So that's actually pretty good. If it can stop, if it can continually stop two of them, I think it's got a pretty good chance. Oh no, these M16s are going to start unloading fire. So the M16 guys are the enemy agents. Agent Smith, wow, that was a blue victory. One of those cubes just absolutely destroyed everything. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is change this up a bit. So first I'm going to put the Tesla coil guy a little closer to the front lines. Then we had these energy sword masters and I'm gonna have them on the front lines too and I'm gonna move the beam rifle to further in the back and then I think I think you know what I think they've got a chance now oh my gosh the lightsaber oh wait a minute oh no that that box gun shot was actually really really good um, oh no this beam guy is getting killed by velociraptors I don't know how we're gonna overcome because Fanthony man gave agent Smith the agents a lot of firepower I think what we're gonna have to do is maybe double up on the uh, on the projectile shields I think that might be the only way We're gonna have one here and we're gonna have one here and that should be able to stop all three m16s Now what if we put? We're gonna put the ninja. We're gonna make it a ninja master and we're gonna put him over here Yeah, that's right. We just did it and you know what? Instead of a thief, we're going to make it a, uh, a lightsaber guy. Because, I mean, if the guy could bend a spoon, he's a pretty powerful guy, right? All right, let's see how that works out. All right, guys, come on. I'm expecting big things. Is the Tesla guy? The Tesla guy got died pretty fast. Oh, the projectile shield is still up. Oh, the Ninja Master is alive, but I think most of the shuriken are going into the walls over here. You've got to slowly work your way around. Oh, he got one of the M16s. And now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. The Matrix. Oh, Cube. Oh, that was that was really close. Okay, if we run this one again, and it is, you know, let's, I'm going to try just to, just to, now that we know they won by a lot, we're going to make it a regular ninja and see if that affects things. Oh, that's what happened. The box gun probably cranked this thing. Oh, man. The ninja got totally wrecked. That's real. Oh, the beam rifle's taking him out. Okay. Man, are there a lot more cubes falling this time? Oh, dude, look at that. I think red could still win. Yeah, red's definitely still gonna win. Let's see what this cube gun does. Oh, it hit the guns. It hit the guns in the air. Oh, this thing's gonna go off. Oh, but it killed it. The, the, the box gun killed itself. That doesn't happen every day. All right, so what if... What if we take away that second one? And then who is that over there? 
we're gonna put Donald Trump in the Tesla over there and see because you know originally we just had one Dan the Tesla man where's the Tesla man here you are. There you are, sir. Please join the battle. I wonder what... Oh, he just gets hit by an M16. <gasps> what? Oh, no. They're di They're getting wrecked so fast. This guy's gonna get hit by stray M16 bullets. Unless he gets this guy. You better fire soon. Oh, you missed. You're dead. Boom. Blue victory. Well, that was the Battle of the Matrix. So, guys, what dinosaurs would you add to tabs? Would you make them only carnivorous, or would you also make, like, brontosaurus and stegosaurus and triceratops and stuff like that? Alright, guys, so this suggestion comes from Dark Shadow Gaming. This is The Shadow of War, the sequel to The Shadow of Mordor. Now, the map is Denmark. We've got the Bright Lord's Army over here. We've got Talion. I'm not sure who he is, but I take it he's the Bright Lord, thus his bright fists. He's a super boxer. We've got 20 thieves as branded grunts, 10 vikings as branded savages, 15 archers as branded archers, 3 chariots as tamed caragors, and 5 bearmen as branded ologs. Then we've got the defense of Sauron. 25 knights as armored grunts, 3 vikings as Uruk captains, 8 bearmen as olags, and man, there's a lot of bearmen, so this is going to be interesting in that regard. We've got 10 archers as armored archers, 3 catapults as captured... S Siege Grog, and then a Samurai Master as the Overlord. So, I'm thinking Blue's gonna win. Actually, it depends. There's a lot of chariots here, so... That could definitely have a huge impact on the battle. Oh, I was hoping that one was gonna get smashed by a stone. Okay, so now we're gonna have, like, Bearman versus Bearman out here. This Samurai Master, is he gonna get cut down by arrows? He has not been hit by one. He just got hit by three at the same time. But, oh yeah. Blue just absolutely wrecked, even with the uh chariots oh but there is the super boxer still up why didn't you hit the catapult he's not hitting anybody oh that catapult killed the other catapult come on archers find your marks oh he he's he's doing it wait who's left alive over here the catapult oh this catapult's going down man look at how many arrows he has so we've got bearman and samurai master this could be interesting i don't know how the super boxer should be able to do decent damage but Bearman and Samurai Masters both do so much damage for every swing that they do. Okay. So let's see. Since they got wrecked, Red did. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna put one over here. One chariot over there. And then, you know what? I'm gonna have one charge right down the middle. Let's see how this plays out. Three chariots spread out. I think they should have more effect as a result. Oh yeah. Oh, that was awesome! That was awesome. That chariot got totally wrecked. Here comes a sleigh. <gasps> no. It got so close to hitting him. Oh, my God. The arrows. What? What? <laughs> what? Rogue sleighs are out everywhere. Oh, this poor bear man can barely walk because he's getting arrows stuck in his heads and his arms. Oh, he died, but he threw his axe and he killed two guys with his last blow. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Wait a minute. This one doesn't even have an axe. I have not seen a live bearman without his great axe. Alright, so now it's the super boxer who's literally just pin cushioned by so many freaking arrows. Oh, he's not going to have a good time because this bearman's going to get a blow on him and take him out. Oh, man. Alright, alright. So, Red is getting their butts kicked. So, we need to change this up. We're going to move the archers... We're going to have a big group. We're going to have 10 archers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to have them on this flank. And I'm hoping by moving the archers to the flanks that they're able to get shots off earlier. Because um, these chariots should be doing a decent job. Oh! Alright. Yeah, yeah. These archers are going to get lots of flank shots in. Oh, man. But they're slowly getting picked apart. And look at this. There's a viking with a shield in the way. These knights are able to take, I think, two arrows each. Which makes them incredibly dangerous. And Red is just getting... Wait, where's the super boxer? My gosh. How do we make the red team win here? Alright. You know what? I know how to do this. I know how to do it. We're going to put the super boxer on the front lines to break to break through it and we're actually just gonna we're gonna just like one two three four and then one over here they're gonna punch through the front lines that's the plan 
and then everybody else kind of follows up. I begin, I guess thieves are not a very good unit for fighting in melee. Although you saw one kill some knights. Super boxers alive. I think there's more red bearmen up. Oh god, the commander here of Sauron's army. Oh gosh. Yeah, red team. Red team just doesn't have what it takes. The siege weaponry, the catapults, are really making a huge difference. They could win, possibly. But I think since no, they could. If the enemy didn't have any archers up, there was there was a small chance. Here's the last guy, and there are three stones. Ooh, man, that was a bad day for the Red Army. They are getting their butts kicked. We're gonna change this. You know, instead of thieves, how many thieves was it again? There were twenty thieves, right? So we're gonna make them Viking headbutters. So. 54. 89. See, $8,900 spent. That's a lot more now. Alright, so headbutters should do better in battle, and they might be able to rush. No, they, they all run into the bearmen, so I don't think there's going to be... Hold on. We're going to put some on the flanks over here. We're going to move this chariot closer. And then we're going to have some headbutters on this flank. And then hopefully, hopefully those headbutters can get to some of the siege weaponry, maybe? If one of them could go... Oh, they're all gonna crush themselves on this bear, man. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, there's archers, too. They're... Wow. When did they... <gasps> yes! Oh, he lunged himself out of the catapult, but he was not able to kill it and knock it out. All right, we're gonna give them... We're gonna give them some spear throwers to follow up, to help pin cushion against the bear, man. They need to overcome. Come on, Spearman. Pick your targets wisely. Oh, gosh. Oh, this knight. This knight could totally mess up things. He is. One knight gets through, and it's all over. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this guy. <gasps> this guy's alive. What? No way. How's he? Oh, he just totally got hit. Oh, man. Yeah, Red just can't win. So, it looks like the Bright Lord's army... Is going to get defeated. Ooh, arrow to the ankle and then one in the hip to finalize the deal. All right, guys, this suggestion comes in from Eddie Vana. This is the fourth crusade. We've got the crusaders in red led by the Pope himself, given his robe and his holy powers. So, you know, throwing chickens, magical chickens, I guess could be a holy power. Now, they are composed of 20 footmen as knights, 10 thieves is better on peasants, 10 farmers as peasant crusaders, 10 chariots, that's right, 10 freaking chariots as mounted knights and 20 archers as archers. Then there's the Byzantine Empire. We've got 20 spearmen and 20 shieldmen. I put, I put the spearmen in front of the shields. I want to see how that goes. Then we've got a lot of farmmen as kind of like peasants. We've got archers. We've got cavalry, five chariots. We have five Vikings as Varangian guards and then two Ballista. So this is going to be pretty interesting to see how this one plays out. Because I'm curious to see how all these chariots are going to play. Look at this. Is it <laughs> if you look at it, the entire it's almost like the entire blue army is just destroyed right here in the middle. But I guess so is the red army. So it really comes down to like if the Ballistas can pick off special targets. But there's so many chariots in the way that it's going to be an archer battle. Where, where are you aiming? What are you... Yeah, these ballistas, they're not doing very good. And it looks like the crusader archers are still up, but so is the pope. Whoa. Oh, there are so many archers up. Who's left alive? There was someone in here. Okay. So that did not work out very well at all. Um, you know what? I'm going to have... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the vikings over here. One, two, three, four. Now their task is to rush the archers. So, and we're gonna reposition these chariots. We're gonna move the farmers and put the chariots here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now the farmers are going all on this left flank here. Um, and they're gonna try to overpower it there. All right, so now after the tactical adjustments, the chariots are going crazy. Oh, there, there's so many of the Byzantine warriors just got totally destroyed. And spearmen definitely get tangled up in this stuff. Look at this. 
Farmers coming in on shields. Oh, dude, everybody's getting wrecked. Oh, oh wait. You can hear the chickens, this little squeaking going on. They're, uh, not, not good. The, the ballista's not picking off the knights. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked, point blank, I think. Let's see. Oh, you missed, and you will die as a result. So it looks like, <gasps> oh, come on, archer. Oh, yeah. So actually, wait. I thought blue, I thought blue was wiped out, but they have a ballista, they have a shield guy. If this shield guy doesn't get hit by an arrow, oh my gosh, look at this. He's, he's, he's using the sled as an extra shield. Oh, that arrow got really close to hitting him in the arm. Oh, he's doing it. The Byzantines are gonna, oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, that archer, that archer got taken out. There's two left, three left, and there's a ballista. All right, but now they're kind of, they're gonna be, pushing these things as they go. If this ballista could hit one of them and explode. Oh, that guy's dead. All right, so now there's just, what, two left. Oh, they're in a firing position. They're in firing position, ballista. Take them out. Ooh, Byzantine victory. A little bit of tactical adjustment. And as a result, we have ourselves. So let's see, what if we got rid of all the cavalry? What's gonna happen with this battle? Because we saw, like, cavalry just absolutely, our, our chariots just absolutely run amok when it comes time for formations. What's this guy doing? He's just hopping around. Oh, that guy, that knight lost his sword. And he got taken out as a result. Look, now the blue army is so much better. Because the spears in the front, I actually want to do that one again. So, I want to watch these shields. I think it may have been a better idea than to put the phalanx the other way. What? <laughs> I, I was itching my nose, so I couldn't have... I didn't move my, my right hand on the mouse to, to see that guy fly off into the air. Oh, yeah. There's just so much archers. And I think I think by the Vikings able to get through... Look, there's they've only got one archer left. This guy's going to get hit. Although the chicken man, the Pope himself, is alive. You must target the Pope. Oh, their archers are going down. Come on, Pope. He's like, I'm just hanging out. Dur, dur, dur. My eyeball's popping out of my eye. Dude, that does not look comfortable. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, Pope. Oh, Pope, you better you better get ready. Oh, he's dodging them. Come on, dude, how are you gonna, are you gonna, ooh! The Byzantines have defeated the Pope. All right, we're gonna do this one one more time. Actually, wait, we're gonna change it up a little bit. This back row of farmers is actually gonna spread out wider. Yeah, I think I gave them too many. All right, that seems about right. So, do they do they overlap them? Do they keep themselves from getting flanked? Let's see. The farmers, the farmers are like, I cannot wait for the farmer faction in the new one because like the farmers just have this charm about them with those silly hats and their pitchforks. And they're just going about the day's work. Oh yeah, I think Oh yeah, these shield guys are looking the wrong way and this guy's going to take some arrows to the back. Oh, the pope is taking an arrow to his arm. His archers are moving up. He just has to defeat some ballistas. Can the Pope survive? I think... Oh, wait. Oh, that one's aiming at the Pope. <gasps> it, it went down right before it could fire at the Pope. This one... Oh, and the Pope is victorious. They have won the Fourth Crusade. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Tabs. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. So the questions of the day were what custom battles would you like to see the next in the next video? Do you like dinosaurs for Tabs? And which dinosaurs do you like for Tabs? Because clearly they've made a case that raptors could do pretty well in Tabs. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a happy Monday.